Hello everybody, welcome back to your weekday weekend. It's been a minute, just because there hasn't been anything new going on. I've been doing a little bit of CAD stuff on the side, but I haven't really been motivated to hop in and do anything new. Um, but today we're going back to my TriCAD series. So last time we did FreeCAD, it was all right. Before that we did Fusion 360. And um, I think I've narrowed down the format. So, here's how it's going to go. I'm a hobbyist, not a professional. The whole point of this series is to see how easy it is for a hobbyist without professional experience to jump into a software that they don't know. Or, maybe, how easy is it for a professional to jump into a new software. Maybe you use X software at work, but you can't necessarily afford that for home or vice versa. So. The whole point of this is to examine how easy it is for a hobbyist to get started in a different software. I'm going to show the complete install process from the website to installing and using for the first time. Today is SolidWorks. Now, SolidWorks does offer a trial. It is of their online 3D experience, what you call it but it is a free trial of SOLIDWORKS nonetheless. I have criticized SOLIDWORKS before for not having prices and once again, this is another time where they don't really have prices. They don't have prices. Contact sales. Now I've seen somewhere that for hobbyists, there we go, makers. So they do have a price. That's the only place they have a price is for the makers community. But if you look, there still isn't a free trial option anywhere. So how do you get a free trial? Well, I found under the buy option, there's free trial. And then we can sign up by giving them all of our information. Let's look at the privacy policy, shall we? Okay, this is good. Uh, they do not rent or sell information, but may share your necessary personal data for certain business purposes with following categories of organizations. So at least they don't sell your data. So that's all right. Okay, let's keep going. All right, so finally. It's fine. I'm not going to do any personal data or anything like that. Oh, good. SolidWorks trial will not launch if you have an ad blocker enabled. I don't like that. Okay, one second. Still, um... Still waiting for my free trial, guys. Ad blockers off, still waiting. Assuming I'm waiting for this thing. Well, um, SolidWorks, uh, guys, listen, um, says it won't launch if you have an ad blocker enabled with or without the ad blocker. It won't launch guys. So, um, all right, guys. So some of you are going to think I'm baking this and I'm not. Um, I know I've spoken highly of Libra in the past and that's because I don't have to deal with, quite frankly, this kind of bullshit. Um, Libra is not paying me for my opinion on them and I'm going to make some people butt hurt with this video, but this is why I absolutely hate the idea of a cloud service, cloud platform, whatever. I think what's happening is that my home network is configured in such a way that I um, have certain nefarious trackers from certain websites blocked by default on the router end, not my PC. 
so that they don't even make it through to my network. And I think that's what's blocking it here. And quite honestly, I'm not disabling those settings just for SolidWorks. Um, it's not worth it, quite honestly. So unfortunately, guys, if you're looking for a SolidWorks free trial and you're looking for footage of it, unfortunately, I'm not the person to get footage of that trial from. Personally, I value my data a lot, which is why I have such blockers in place. And if I try other online only CAD options like Onshape, for example, Onshape works. I can launch Onshape right now. How about Tinkercad? Tinkercad works. I'm in Tinkercad. So, um, unfortunately, guys, I'm not going to be doing a SolidWorks demonstration today, I guess. The issue here isn't my decisions about my data on my network. The issue here is what if you're a professional or what if you're a freelancer and your boss emails you and say, hey, says, hey, I need this project and you're working on this online only version of SolidWorks. Well, you're not home, you're on vacation. So you're using public internet at the hotel or the local library to get your project done. Well, that hotel or that local library, they have blockers enabled on their network to protect their users. And because of all that, you can't access SolidWorks and you can't just ask the hotel to turn off their network security. They're going to think you're crazy and you shouldn't have to. As a professional, you need the software to conform to you, not necessarily the other way around, especially in situations like that. Unfortunately, I would say SolidWorks for me is a no. So, sorry guys. I know this was kind of a bummer video, anticlimactic, and I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of hate for it in the comments. But unfortunately, I think if you're looking for an online only option, then there are other options that are going to be more reliable as far as a professional scenario. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Appreciate you stopping by. Uh, remember, with me, every day's a weekend. Check out my Discord. Check out weekdayweekend.net. Check out my Twitch, twitch.tv slash weekdayweekend. Until next time, have a fantastic week, and I'll see you next time, next weekend.